all right guys it's your girl be ravishing and i'm coming to you from my car today on this beautiful beautiful um saturday i'm headed to a women's conference Hi, to volunteer they are an organization um, that strives to help and support and uplift girls and women um so if you want to check them out on um, Instagram. I'm not sure if they have a Facebook page, but look them up on Instagram. Desire to empower and support. Support everything that she does because this is a great cause in the community. And I was just saying that I wanted to become more involved um, in the community and do um, activities. And she has given me a chance to volunteer with her. So this is my mini blog today. Um, hopefully, I'll give you an update of how the event goes and the great speakers that she's going to have that are going to be presenting and uplifting and empowering women. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. If I can, I'll try to get a little quick video. Um, if not, then I'll just have to talk about it. All right, guys. I'll see you in a little while. Don't want to get in trouble being on my phone and driving. All right. See you in a little while. Smooches. Be bold. Be true. Be you. Be ravishing. Love you. Here and everything is like so free. generational curse where your her, your grandmother did it did it to your mom then your mom did it to you and now you're doing it to your children and that's where we must stop but in order to stop that we must begin to speak speak our truth stand in our truth and not be afraid to share um the pain or the good things that have happened or occur, occurred in our life um not be afraid to let somebody else know your story because you never know how it might benefit them. They might be going through the exact same thing that you're going through or have gone through and don't know how to get out of that situation. So, as people, we must speak more, stand in our truth, be open and listen and be willing to accept what someone is saying to you or telling you or advising you on. Um, <clears throat> and just, I don't know. I just feel like it, it gave me a sense of you know what stop listening to what other people are saying stop listening to what yourself stop listening to what you think you can do because I always say I'm not a good speaker you know I don't want to I don't want keep it in my business what if the people don't like what I have to say but you know what I don't care anymore like I really I really don't care anything I feel that's on my heart that I need to get off um, thank God for you too thank God for you those who are listening and subscribing and watching I can not then, but I can release. And with release comes peace. That is what I am learning. Um, everyone said, like, why did you start a channel? Why did you start it? With release comes peace. So I'm learning to stand in my truth to not care 
to not live in fear basically don't live in fear what other people are going to say about me and the crazy thing is I, I walk in confidence if you see me walking down the street you you don't you don't know my story you would think that I have everything under control but in my life I've been through some things I've gone through some trials and tribulations um, there is a true test in my testimony if I were to begin to speak and tell you my story but I I don't think I'm all the way there yet as far as to like write a book right now but I've been thinking about it so you never know this did give me the motivation to not be afraid of anything to not be afraid to put myself out out there or my story out there and put myself on the line because you never know who it might help you never know who is listening and watching you and as I've always told I only have a brother but I have several cousins um, God, children, and just anybody that, that I meet. My thing is this. You can be your greatest ally or you can be your greatest enemy. You control that. So whatever you want to do, don't let someone else determine the capacity of your talent, the capacity of your love, the capacity of, of what you can accomplish. You determine that. Stop listening to folk. There's so much negativity going on in the world. Everyone hates everyone. No one, all you hear is black people don't want to help the next black person. People don't want to see you succeed. But you determine if you're going to su succeed. You determine your success. You determine how far you go in life. And I know we've heard that several times, but it's, it's the truth. I realized a long time ago that I would not be where I am. I would not have the things that I have if I had listened to people or allowed my circumstances to determine um, where I was going to go. If I allowed my situation to determine the outcome of my life, I would still be living in a small town, not going to school, working at a probably somewhere that I don't want to work, making barely minimal wage, dating any and everybody. If I had not learned a long time ago that I am the creator of my faith, I am the ruler of my own universe, um, it takes time to look within and look to a higher power to tell you, what am I here for? What am I meant to do? Why am I here? And once you figure out your why, not even your why you're here, but why you want to do what you want to do, your determination, once you figure out your why, you will figure out your purpose. Your why usually determines your purpose. Why are you doing it? If you're doing it for self-gratification, you're probably not gonna go anywhere. You're not gonna benefit. If you're not doing it to actually help someone else, that's the key thing. Strive to be helpful. St strive to give and not just to receive. So anything I do now, that's why I, I wanted to volunteer. I wanna start getting out to the community. I want to start being of service. Um, I was put here to give and I need to start using that so Edie I know you're probably not watching this and this is a very very new channel and nobody might even ever see this but just thank you for being an inspiration for giving an encouragement for all the women who spoke their truth and told their stories thank you it was great it was great it was truly inspirational and empowering and motivational for me and on that note I, I have arrived home and I'm just gonna go sit in here and I'll put this together later but I just want to say my saying is be bold be true be you and with that stand in your truth believe in yourself and don't let allow anyone to tell you who or what you are supposed to be all right I love you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my, um, my, I guess my little Saturday hot topic rant. And I will see you next time. Love you.